it's not that this movie is bad. It's really not. It's just not good either. Guillermo del Toro produced this one, so it did give me a lot of hope. However, Julia's eyes don't work. Pun intended. Los Ojos de Julia is a 2010 Spanish film that is under the Universal International Umbrella. It's about a woman who is in the process of losing her eyesight that investigates her sister's mysterious death. It's got some of the same vibes as Wait Until Dark with Audrey Hepburn and, of course, The Eye. The film is shot beautifully, the art direction is gorgeous, and it has some really cool blue tones going on. You can actually really see the money in this film as well, so thank you Universal, because it has some really great locations, and it's got a really lot going on in these locations. It's got some money, it looks like. The decor is good, the acting is good, the mysterious tones is good, and yet it still does not work. At first, I tried to convince myself that the only reason it wasn't really working is because it's just a very simple, straight-up thriller. And I've seen so many stylistically different films lately because of 31 Days of Horror that I felt that this thriller style was just a little bit of the boring Hollywood setup and just wasn't really my thing. That could give it a bit of the bore factor. But it's more than that. Some things just had to be done better. And maybe I'm getting a little nitpicky here, but... Oh well. I can't stand running scenes where the camera is clearly not moving fast enough so the actor has to slow down and pump the arms really really quick and pretend they're moving fast. It never works. Do some Tom Cruise research bro. Come on. running for dear life, you gotta look like you're running for dear life. Now this is a thriller that's shrouded in mystery, so you don't know who the antagonist is. Now our main character is keeping things from her husband, so she has to do the investigations without him knowing. And it gets really obvious and a bit moronic when every time she finds out something she can research, the husband mysteriously says, Oh, I have to go to the car to get something. And then he leaves, and then this gives the character an opportunity to go investigate. Oh, I've left something in my car. Goes and leaves, and then our main character can investigate more. It got so boringly obvious that it was just such a bad setup, and the writers had to do a better job of finding ways for characters to leave Julia alone so she could investigate. And without going into any detail or any particulars, the director decided to shoot in a way that was just idiotic. Now, as I said, everything on camera is beautiful and looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. But during very key scenes, he's chosen a specific style to shoot and the specific way to crop the shots and it was so telling and so obvious that it was embarrassing. I can't tell you how much what this director did with these shots completely takes you out of the film and it basically gives everything away. I don't know if he was thinking that he was being sly in doing this, but it was very obvious. It was about as obvious as like, I don't know, a rhinoceros taking a dump in a church or something. It was bad obvious. And that's really unfortunate because like I said, this movie had a lot of the pieces to make a great film. But the pieces that it was missing really, really hurts the film. And I do really wonder how much was Guillermo del Toro involved in this producing? Was he there on set? Was he really hands-on? Or was he more of a name on the poster to bring more people to the movie? I really hope he wasn't overly involved. All in all, Los Ojos de Julia really reminds us that no matter how technically sound 
in terms of locations, art designs, makeup, lighting. If the story isn't there and the delivery doesn't execute properly, the film is useless.